All right, good morning, guys. Here we are, Joyce, Iowa, middle of November. Beautiful morning. Temperature this morning, it's about 24 degrees. And we are going to be spraying inside of these silos. They're converting to changing rooms for this big wedding reception venue. They're going to be spraying the inside of this building also. I think all of the ceiling. And the guys are in here now getting this together. Here's our trailer we shipped up from Georgia. Customers had it plugged in overnight with heat inside so we could get the materials warm. We'll get an internal temperature of this trailer in just a few minutes. So we've got the new CDS machine in here, 50 pounds a minute, over 3,000 PSI, two drums, 150 foot of hose, got a Graco Fusion gun. We're going to go through the entire startup on this thing this morning so you can see exactly how this machine runs. And uh, sit tight, we'll get this thing going. So the first thing I want to check this morning, I want to get a good look at this temperature gauge. Inside this trailer, we're probably 50, 62 degrees. Get a close up on that. We're going to turn on these digital gauges here in just a few minutes. We'll be able to see what our temperatures are. Probably going to recirculate a little bit. We'll get an accurate temperature of the material coming out of the drums. If you notice here, this system does not have drum pumps. So, we don't need the big compressor, the big refrigerated air dryer. Only thing the air is running is going to be this Graco Fusion gun. And again, here's your B side resin, your A side ISO, and the machine. We'll be firing this thing up progressively. Stand by. Here's the inside of the silos we're going to be spraying today. They framed up the floor, all the walls. So here's a 17.5 Generac generator, put it on an RV slide, it allows this exhaust to come outside the trailer, puts a good bit of the heat outside as well. We have the only hydraulic unit that the entire system can run off of a portable Generac generator. Uh, just about every other machine or every machine that I know of in the industry is going to require a large diesel uh, three or four cylinder generator which uh, adds about $10,000, $12,000 to the normal cost of a trailer. Plus you need to upsize the trailer and the GVW of the axles when you get into a larger generator. So this is a great mid-entry level machine. You're going to get professional results uh, without breaking the bank. All right, we're going to fire up this generator. Like I said, it's cold this morning. First thing we're going to do, got the generator running. I'm going to go ahead and gonna turn on the hose heat. This is the master power switch here. We turn this on, powers up the unit. You'll see as the temperatures come up, it's going to calculate. So the hose right now is reading, started at 55 degrees. Our target temperature is 130. And you'll see that it's going to uh, start heating up. We're running about 45 amps down the hose. This allows us to adjust the amperage going down the hose. And we want to be about 45 to start with. As the hose heats up, it'll drop down just a little bit. But this heats uh, 150 feet of hose. You can already see the temperatures coming up should come up about uh, two or three degrees per minute. We're not doing anything over here yet. The materials, the machine's about 60 degrees, so like I said, they had this thing in a heated shop all night last night, and uh, also a speed space heater inside. 
So we'll get right back with this. We're just going to let this hose heat up to get started. All right, so first thing I want to do, guys, I want to check, see what my temperature, my material is. My machine, when I turned it on, said 62 degrees. We do not have the heater on, but we're going to go ahead. We've already done this a second ago. We're going to circulate some material through here without the heater on. And it's going to circulate. It's going to go into the machine. It's going to tell us the temperature of our material. And it's going to recirculate. Without the heater on, it's going to tell us what the temperature of the material is coming out of the drum. So it gets picked up here on this big tube, goes to the pump, the pump is on, it sends that material through the heater, but the heater is not on. So right now, our material coming out of the drum is 62 degrees. We're going to want to warm that up a little bit, so what we're going to do, we're going to turn this switch on. And the heater is going to come on. We're going to start circulating some warm material. We want to get to about 75 degrees. Alright guys, so what we've got, got the A side set at 110, got the B side set at 130. They're going to overshoot because the sensors are right up against the heat rods inside the heater. I got a couple over temperature switches. Just gonna check them. Our temperature is coming up. We started at 50 degrees this morning. Got great pressure at 1,000 pounds, 1,000 pounds. We recirculated. Our counters are at zero, one, zero, one. We're gonna reset these. Zero, zero. Our hose heat is up to temperature 130. You can see that it's pulsating to maintain temperature. Our lubrication system is working. We got the hose out and they're fixing the spray. Alright guys, we're just doing a little test spray in here. Foam rising up, setting up nice and quick. We've actually sprayed this thing already a little bit yesterday. A quick little test shot. I know he's not in his safety equipment, so don't bust my ass about it. Okay, nice and quick, setting up. It's not running. Foam looks good. We'll give it a few minutes to off gas. Again, don't spray more than about two or two and a half inches. And that's it. Go ahead and take another shot. Let's get a video of it. That looks really good. So, just stepping out of the silo. Got the generator running, a little bit noisy. Got some hose out. We're going to come in here and check the trailer. Everything again looks good. Hose temperature is 133, 134. We're about 135 on our B side. 112, 113 on our A side. I got 27 strokes of A. 30 strokes of B. Our temperature going out to the hose itself is 125. And our pressure's a little over a thousand on the B side, a pinch over a thousand on the A side. Everything looks good. Got the uh, lubrication system running. About 750 pounds on the hydraulic meter. This thing's running like a champ. Here's one of the most important things I want to show you guys. It doesn't matter what your preheaters say. Alright? You got the heat, uh, the 
the heat thermo the thermocoupler is sitting right against the heat rod inside the block. What's going on inside the block has no relevance, well it does, but there's the most important gauge on the entire deal. And this is our output temperature. Comes out of the heater, goes right into this temperature block, and that is immersed in the B side resin side. So we're at 100 degrees right now. He's going to start spraying, and you're going to watch the temperature come up. Fortunately, during this time, he's got 130 degrees of material in his hose. That sensor for the hose heat is about a foot from the end of the hose. You'll see that it's calling for heat. We got good heat here, good heat here. And you'll see that that's now come up to about 120. Almost 125. About 125 degrees of material going down this heated hose. And it's reading 130 at the gun. That's how this hose heat works. 